Hi, my name is Mike Clancy. In this video, we're going to show you the basics of Excel. It's going to be very simple. And this is what I teach in my computing class for the over 50s. Let's start by opening Excel. Excel comes with a number of predefined templates you can use. And it's worth your while exploring these templates when you have the opportunity. If you don't choose a template, it'll take you to the basic Excel workbook. Let's reposition it into our screen. OK, now I'm using Excel 2011 on the Mac, but if you're using a Windows version, for what we are going to do, the screen looks very similar. Let's have a look. This is the home screen that opens up when you open your spreadsheet. And you'll see down here a number of tabs. You can add tabs in, as many as you want. Right click, and you can rename a tab. In this case, I'll call it we're going to use this to do some simple budgeting. This sheet I will now rename list one. And sheet three we don't need for the moment. Let's stay with list. Here are my columns. I can format the width anytime I want. This is going to be a simple mail record of mail received. This column is I'm going to Put in the date from regarding. I'll select all of these and I'll make them bold and I will underline so they look like headings. Now here we're going to teach some pretty basic principles. Let's write in the date. Today's date is 20th of July. And it's from Tom, and it's regarding meeting up. But hang on, going back through my mailbox from the last week, yesterday I got a, an email from Don regarding classes. I also got one from David regarding a book purchase. OK, so I put a few uh, entries into this list, but hang on. Um, I've forgotten one. Just come in from Another one from David. Now you notice how in Excel it remembers. So it gives you an idea. You, you don't have to type in the whole uh, string of characters again. If it's the same subject, it will remember it for you. Now we can change the width of our columns by dragging. Now I want to Oh, just a moment, they're in the wrong order. So I want to put them into date order. So I select there, drag, and select all. Then I drag it across to, I'm going into data, and I'm going to sort ascending, And there it's got in date order, but I want I want the uh, newest at the top, so I'll do it in descending order. And there we are. It has arranged things for me. And you'll see it's automatically formatted this as a date field, this as a text field, and this as a text field. Let's go back into our home menu. And you can see all of this. That's formatted as date. This one and this one 
is formatted as text. But we can change the format of date. We can change the format of date. We've selected them. Right click and pick format cells. Now we have all our options for the date. We'll choose that option. And that's what we've got. The blank, the blank fields here that we haven't filled in, we can just delete. And that's done. So that's very basically using Excel. If you look here, these are similar to what we have in Word. But here, from here on, it's all about dealing with numbers and arranging text. We haven't discussed numbers yet, but we'll do that in the next video.